I had PIP implants at the age of 18. I was very uncomfortant in my ability as a, as a woman, like that I had asymmetrical breasts at the time. I had different heights, different sizes. A mí me detectaron unos nódulos en mi seno izquierdo. Me pusieron un tratamiento con, como con una quimioterapia que ya había superado la etapa, vamos a decir, del principio de cáncer. Me dijo que me iba a poner unas prótesis francesas. I had my PIP implants removed. The implants had ruptured and the silicone had leaked into my body. I've lived a daily nightmare. I now have intestinal failure. The silicone has affected my lungs, so breathing is very difficult for me. I'm terminally ill. And I needed to have emergent surgery. The surgeon told me when he cut me, it sprayed all over the theater. It had spread into my lymph nodes and all into my body and it was a very painful surgery. Um, they also found a lump outside the lump. Um, I've had many complications. Um, I'm on my fourth lung collapse. I had loss of breath and circulation, and I also couldn't lift anything up. It's been years of my lymph nodes being inflamed. I also have a son born with um, autism and ADHD. Um, during pregnancy, our implants were leaking, and a way that mental disability happens is chemical exposure in pregnancy. I have no feeling in my these three fingers. Will not remove the stuff from under my armpit because I could lose my arm. It could start attacking my autoimmune system. It destroyed me emotionally, physically, mentally. My parents worrying if I was going to die. My children crying because I couldn't pick them up. Not knowing how I would pay the bills. And the people that are responsible to me are the ones that mark the seal CE. If I could speak to the TUV director, I would slap him in the face. I really would. Mm -hmm.